So uh, our next speaker before the last, uh, Prof. Uh, Samia Esmat, well known to all of us, and we would like to thank her for this uh, excellent, uh, I mean, meeting. And uh, she will talk about the combination of acetretine and narrowband, UVB treatment of vitiligo, and new treatment modalities with an impact on tissue ecadherin uh, expression. Samia. Is uh, Persad here? Persad? Devinda? No? He was. It's okay. Well, I, we started this study because um, during the last, maybe was, the study was started two years ago, and uh, two years before there was a lot about keratinocytes and their importance in the development of vitiligo. Well, keratin, the vitiligo keratinocytes have a lot of defects, uh, having intrinsic defects in their ability to produce matrix metalloproteinases and to express endothelin 1 after narrowband UVB. Also, they secrete a lot of inflammatory cytokines more than normal controls and also less mitogenic melanocy yani melanocyte mitogen cytokines. Uh, they also have the ability to have more uh, expression of antigens on, on the surface. And, and with the melanocyte, uh, melanocytology hypothesis being stronger and stronger, the importance of keratinocytes became more, and especially uh, with the deficiency in cadherine exposure, ex expression in most of the studies uh, done about e cadherines in vitiligo, uh, we have decreased expression together with an abnormal pattern or interrupted pattern of expression within the epidermis. So, since retinoids are known to correct the proliferation and differentiation of keratinocytes, and even in some studies, they improve the cell adhesion and the integrity of the beta-catenin e cadherine complexes, uh, the idea of this study came on, uh, and that we, we wanted to add them, not as a monotherapy, because of course they were not approved, but it, uh, we used this study to see if they can add to the efficacy of uh, narrowband UVB. So uh, 20 patients were included uh, together with 20 healthy individuals. Uh, this is because we measured the e-cadherine in the skin first. And uh, uh, of course, the inclusion criteria include the uh, patients with generalized non-segmental vitiligo and excluded all those with contraindications to narrowband UVB or uh, acetraton. Of course, we know the restrictions on uh, conception during uh, taking this medication and two years after. Uh, all patients were examined and uh, uh, photographed before the, the study and every two weeks uh, until the 48 sessions were over. They received three sessions per week. Uh, Vasi and Vida was done before uh, and, the, and the middle and at the end of the study. Uh, we divided the patients into, randomly into two groups. The group we received, both of them received the three sessions of narrowband and one of them received uh, uh, systemic retinoids in HOMA group B, uh, 0.3 milligrams per kg per day. Uh, biopsies were taken from the regional and periregional skin of patients as well as uh, the one uh, biopsy of the controls which uh, were actually uh, surgical specimens collected from abdominal prostate patients. <coughs> Clinically, uh, before treatment, the two groups were uh, uh, significantly uh, age and uh, even all the clinical criteria were matching. Uh, after treatment, we noticed that there was no significant difference in the uh, repigmentation achieved, but the, the significant difference was with the onset of uh, repigmentation, where we can see the uh, cases of uh, uh, narrowband UVB with acetraten. The, me, the mean of uh, uh, the sessions, the number of sessions where repigmentation started was, was 10.3 compared to 17.3 in, in those of uh, narrowband alone. So there is a faster uh, response. But when we compared at the end of the sessions, pigmentation and improvement was the same. As regards the key cadherine expression, actually, uh, compared to control skin, having strong uh, uh, membranous expression and continuous, we have in all vitiligo, periregional and in lesional and periregional skin, we have significantly lower expression together with an interrupted and not a diffuse pattern of expression. <coughs> 
lesional and perilesional skin showed uh, that the diffuse pattern was more significantly higher in the perilesional than the lesional skin, but the intensity was the same. It was lower in both. After treatment, uh, the, uh, using uh, the narrowband UVB, actually the, the, the expression showed better and it was significantly more as regards the intensity but not the pattern. However, those using the, the uh, retinoids, they did not show a significant increase in the, uh, the ecaderine expression. There was, no, there was, but it was not significant. And we see in the photo the almost the uh, before and after are almost uh, similar. Now, this was in the region and perilegion. And perilegion, we have an improvement, but it was not significant. When we compared the narrow band versus the, the retinoid narrow band group, actually there was no uh, significant changes or uh, significant changes in the repigmentation and ecaderine expression achieved in the lesional skin or the perilesional skin. But what was significant and was strange enough that the percent of increase in intensity induced in the ecaderine expression was higher in the retinoid narrowband group. Although in, when we measured it, the difference was not that significant, but comparing it to the narrow band alone, there is a, a significant higher expression or improvement in the ecadrine group. So we, uh, in this study, we uh, maybe added to the evidence that ecadrines are, are defective in vitiligo epidermis, uh, and that acetratin can cause earlier repigmentation when added to narrow band UVB, Narrowband UVB increases the intensity of ecadrine expression in lesional and perilesional skin of uh, vitiligo, and the change intensity is more when acetratin is added. So we can then conclude that acetratin can lead to earlier repigmentation, but at the end, we reach the same degree of repigmentation. So this is, and we, when we value the side effects and the efficacy, I think we, we maybe we will think a lot before adding the acetratin. Uh, this trial was done because it was attractive to see how can a, a factor that corrects the keratinocyte side defect can uh, work. Uh, so it, it, it only uh, enhances the response, but uh, nothing more. So, and we are, we are reminding all of you about the 2024 meeting at Cairo, and we hope we'll see all of you here, there. Okay, thank you. Thank you.